Oh, I just got done watching um, watching Tasha Lee's most recent video, and so I wanted to record this. And the time's eleven eleven, so um, I just took a um, I made a bunch of these bath salts that I wanted that I was like ambitious to sell, and I didn't end up doing it. But now I have them all for myself, and the coconut oil in it probably isn't good anymore um but they said the essential oils seem to still be good but you know coconut oil you know doesn't have that doesn't last that long these are several years old but they're it's dead sea salt and uh dead sea salt has a large amount of um uh ormus or orme o-r-m-e sometimes they call it ormus O-R-M-U-S, but it stands for Orbitally Rearranged Monoatomic Elements. So um, I know that Dead Sea Salt has less sodium and more of like calcium and ma uh, especially magnesium. So this is a, the lavender and chamomile ones have actual dried flowers in it. So, um, but since I do like the Morgellons baths when I'm trying to collect stuff like this right here, that's just hair right there. It's just, but, um, so I don't want to have bits of, you know, this is the chamomile one. So, um, I don't want to have bits in the bath getting mixed up with the things I'm trying to collect. So the one I did tonight was, um, Oh, the foot soaks, which is just a finer, oops, a finer grain of the salts. Um, so like with a foot bath, you know, just it dissolves faster. And these are like coarser, um, the, um, the tea bath, that's the one with the flowers. And then we have um, the... Uh, bath crystals so the bath crystals don't have any dried flowers in that in them and then the bath crystals with the lavender or chamomile are called tea bath and then we have the foot soak which is just the finer dead sea salt either eucalyptus or mint and i use eucalyptus this time so that was really nice um i forgot though to use my little exfoliating gloves this is a really good um and you could probably get natural ones like made out of bamboo or something, but um, I don't know how how long they'll last, how dur durable. But um, I wish these were like hemp plastic or hemp polyester or whatever they are, you know. So it's not the greatest material, but it's it is really effective. It's like fuck it, I have more gallons. I don't. <laughs> it's like what else is you know whatever. It, I, I didn't. I don't get a rash from the material or anything. So because I was noticing, I was like picking off the little. Just like scratching out the little bumps, you know, especially like around the elbows and stuff. And so I was like, oh man, I forgot to do the exfoliating with the gloves. So that would have really helped. But so these are just some little black flecks. I think this little piece here was actually in the Dead Sea Salt. You know, they can be little pieces of rock, you know. So I think that's what that probably is. But this was from my nose, more of the like blue lint looking die off. Um, so. I don't know if I'll even put that on a slide because I already have another sample of the same stuff. So, um, yeah, my nose started running and it was like just kept all this blue lint like stuff and more gallons die off. And then a little black fuzz ball that was on the shower. I don't know if that's anything. So we'll see. Um, and yeah, just a couple little black flecks, whatever. So we're going to put them under the scope and see um, what they look like. Do my science work, do my lab work. So. <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. And, um, yeah, I love you all. Blessings to you all and peace be upon you all.